New at 11, chances are you or someone in your household is working from home, and that includes getting on an electronic device, of course. But as the CBS 46 Bulldog has learned, malware attacks have skyrocketed since we began telecommuting. Our chief investigator, Jonathan Carlson, went to the experts for answers. Cybersecurity analysts confirm a major jump in online intrusion since the pandemic sent many of us home. Our reporting found online attackers will try social means to trick you into revealing personal data. Other intrusions are just old fashioned hacking. The tried and true methods, if you will, that are just so much more likely to work in this sort of scenario. The at home scenario, that is. Think all the digital meeting invites you're sent. Now everyone's hair's on fire. They're just trying to make everything work. Uh, where they're much more likely to accept. All it takes is one fraudulent invitation wedged between the two from your boss and a slip up can be costly. Microsoft tells us they've seen a 775% increase in its cloud usage. That poses problems too. Our cybersecurity expert Dan Petro says work in the cloud as opposed to the office opens the door to vulnerabilities. The two biggest tips to avoid a work at home malware attack, multi-layered password protection, and only send work over secure networks, meaning it's tempting to send that important document over text from the living room couch, but don't do it. Fire up the work computer first. Jonathan Carlson, CBS 46 News. And CBS 46 is digging deeper into cyber attacks. An annual report released by Verizon finds that money is the main motivator in nearly nine out of 10 breaches so far in 2020. That's up 15% from last year. Cloud-based data attacks doubled to 43%. The report also found 67% of breaches are caused by credential theft, errors, or social attacks like phishing scams.